Google. Jeremy, could you come fix the Google? Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be exposing Google secrets. I mean, they've already been exposed. How else would I know about them? SS Sniffer Wolf. Hello? What? I can't even like erase what I just wrote. Stop it! Hey! Go home, Google. You're drunk. Had a little too much eggnog. Oh no. It appears I've destroyed the Google. Yay! Imagine if every time you took a whack out of it, it dropped billions of dollars. Raining money. For this cool little trick, all you have to do is Google. Google space. Click on the first one, the MrDoob.com, and then you got Google. You have any relatives coming over of the boomer species, set this up for them. And then anytime they just go and try to type something, they'll be so confused. And then they start moving around their thing. Can you even click on anything? YouTube? Okay, you can click on the YouTube. The YouTube appears to be working. And then all you gotta do is just go back to Google and you'll be hailed the all-knowing tech genius of your generation. If you don't want to say an embarrassing story, all you gotta do is whisper it to Google. And they'll tell it for you. When I was in first grade, I went to my friend's house and her mom made us lunch and it was turkey casserole and it was okay at first and then I felt sick and felt like I had to throw up and I didn't want to say anything and didn't want to make a mess in the bathroom because I always used to throw up in the sink and I didn't want her to know so I took off my sock and threw up in it and put it in her trash and covered it with toilet paper so she wouldn't see it. Well, okay, I don't know why that was a thing. You're supposed to throw up in a toilet. I didn't know that. I literally have never thrown up in a toilet until I was an adult and I knew that you're supposed to do it in a toilet and not the sink. Why would you do it in the sink? Like, I would always do it in the sink and it would make a mess and I never thought to do it in the toilet where you could just flush it and the evidence would be gone, right? Anyway, she never found out, so. This might be a little controversial for some of y'all. The other day I was sitting in LA traffic and it took two hours to go nine miles. And I was like, Thanos, he had the right idea. And I think Google agrees. So when you search Thanos, there's the Wikipedia page, you could do your research. But if you scroll down on his little <gasps> fictional supervillain, <laughs> you taught me Thanos ain't real. I'm sorry guys, this is news to me. But anyways, there's like an animated infinity gauntlet right here. So you're gonna click on it. And it snaps. <gasps> and then the Google search starts disappearing. Where did it go? <gasps> it's all disappearing. And then there's less results. Not quite half. I thought I was supposed to get rid of half. It got rid of about five. Infinity Gauntlet was not very effective. But I thought that was pretty cool. Hey, you can't even like click. They're actually gone. Oh, thank goodness this is still here. Next up, we have Google Gravity. Just search Google Gravity. Oh, and then it just crashes, literally. Whee! Who knew the search bar was so bouncy? Look at that. And his name is John Cena. <laughs> you can take the search bar and yeet it across the room. You can beat Google with their dang search bar. Okay, this is pretty satisfying. I did not know any of this before today, but Google has a bunch of hidden mini games that you can play. So I mean, literally every single game is down. PSN down, Steam down, Blizzard down. I don't know. You gotta be really bored to wanna play these games or at school or in prison. This is one of my favorites. You can search Atari Breakout and then you go to images and then it turns into the game. Okay, what if I actually need photos for a school project? Can I not? Does it only let me play this game? Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. And you play with your keyboard. Don't mind me just creating a beat for my new mixtape. Okay, now take me to images. Is there just, oh, okay, you can return to image search. Very cool, Google. Google, Pac-Man. They don't want you to play Pac-Man anywhere else except Google. Does Google own Pac-Man? what the boomers grew up playing. For real though, I had a- Oh no! I meant to go in the gap. No, 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 no,
So I know this girl and she was dating a guy that was like 20 years older than her. She's a gamer and she asked him if he plays any games and he's like Games? You mean like Pac-Man? Okay, I thought the story was gonna be funnier. Like not even Fortnite. How old is Pac-Man? In the 80s? Okay. What's Pac-Man's real name? Puck-Man. All them hockey pucks destroyed his teeth. Now he's Pac-Man. Ugh, this is terrifying. This is what he looked like when he was Puck-Man. When he had all his teeth. What we do here is go back to the Google homepage. Zerg Rush. Google it. And then it starts raining these rings. Sonic, come collect your coins. No, it's literally deleting all of the searches. Hey, bro, I gotta stop them. Somebody's gotta stop them. Oh, we've sent reinforcements. Oh, they even have a health bar. Okay, there we go. Are you guys on my side? Oh no, they're not on my side. I thought the red was coming to help. They've deleted the entire Google search. That was very rude of you. Wait, they're trying to spell something out. Probably Google. GG? What you mean GG? This wasn't even a good game. This was a garbage game. That was disrespectful. I feel humiliated. Okay, but what is a Zerg rush? Oh my god, I tried to look for it again and now it's upside down and everything is spelt weird. Okay, oh my god, I'm trying to fix this and it's not fixing. What's going on? Please fix the Google. Leave the family computer like this. It's not your problem anymore. Good thing I'm a tech genius. Fixed it. <laughs> There's another minigame Easter egg, but it only works when you have no internet and it only works in Chrome So I'm gonna unplug my internet. I'm gonna refresh. Okay, so you get this little dinosaur over here You see I always thought he was just a dinosaur, but I was wrong You press the space bar and it activates this little minigame Wee! 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 That you can play with no internet. So you just jump over everything Jump over the cactuses. I don't know what those are. What if we hit one? Oh, it's just game over. Face full of needles. No! And that's how they went extinct. He's so stuffy. How does he jump this high? How long does this go on for? Are there like levels? Where's the boss fight? Man, no internet, no problem. You know, this stuff would have been really cool like 10 years ago before we had like a bunch of apps and games that we could play. Like this would have been so much cooler than Snake. You know, I feel like this new generation doesn't know what Snake is. Smash like if you know what Snake is. We used to play it on our flip phones, our Nokia phones. It's like MS Paint, but for your phone. No, it's nothing like MS Paint paint. If you're trying to make a bet with someone and they don't know how to play rock, paper, scissors, you can tell Google to flip a coin. <laughs> Heads. And there is a coin flipping simulator. Very useful. Flip again. Tails. Just making sure it's not rigged. You can also ask it to roll a die. Wow, look at all these useful Google hacks you didn't know. Roll it. Four. Roll it again. Three. Better be two. What? This isn't random. If it's one, okay. I was gonna be like, I'm calling the cops. Oh, there are different kinds of dies. So if you're trying to play Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> I've never even played that in my life. Oh, wow, and you could take away some. So if you don't have one of these fancy dice, you can literally roll it on Google. Other cool tricks you can do to upset the boomers. Type in askew and it'll slant your page. Now you know what askew means and your Google is ruined. Also will bug your OCD friends. Hey Google, do a barrel roll. <laughs> and it just does a spin. So you can basically command it to do all of these things. Oh, you can do it one million times. Do a barrel roll a hundred times. <gasps> again, 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 yes. Try searching for that apple pie recipe now, Barbara. Recursion. Oh, I'm like, I, I spelt it right, right? But it, it keeps saying, did you mean recursion? The repeated application of a recursive procedure or definition. So it just repeats itself. Oh man, this is, this is really annoying. Cause I'm like, I spelt it right, but it keeps saying, did you mean? I keep clicking on the recommended and it's still there. This is annoying, I hate this one. Two out of 10 hack. You know, in everybody's life, there's gonna be a time where they're like, What's the meaning of life? And you want some answers. So you search for the answer to life. And the number 42 comes up. Why 42? Why is 42 the answer to life, the universe, and everything? So in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything, calculated by a supercomputer named Deep Thought over a period of 7.5 million years. What? So anytime somebody asks you for your lucky 
lucky number. Stop saying seven. It's 42 because apparently it's a perfect number. Weird flex, but okay. So in a three by three by three magic cube where the numbers are one, two, three, four to 27, they're all written at an intersection point. Each column, row, and pillar add up to 42. I'm not impressed. What else can you do 42? The optimum angle for white light to refract through water and thus form a rainbow is between 40.89 and 42 degrees. <laughs> Ew, I snorted at that one. <laughs> there are 42 members in the Illuminati. <gasps> it all makes sense now. Reason number five, Google says so and Google is a billionaire and supposedly knows everything and their image search still sucks. I don't know, comment below if y'all have any answers. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the and comment below if you know any secrets that I did not mention in this video. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.